Hey, what's up? It's Two Base. In this video, we're gonna take a look back at the old TV series Robot Boy. This video was requested by Asha White Main. So let's get this video started. Roll the intro. Robot Boy is a French animation series that premiered on Cartoon Network. The series first premiered in the UK in November 2005, then in the US a month later. The series was created by, and I'm about to mess this up, John Van Rysselberg. Sorry. How he came up with the idea for Robot Boy is that one of his kids came home from school and told him he was getting bullied. And he wished that he had a robot to protect him as his bodyguard. Robot Boy came on Saturday mornings around 9 o'clock, right after Billy and Mandy. The series ran for four seasons with a total of 52 episodes, even nominated for an award in Italy in 2006 at the Cartoon of the Bay Festival. Also nominated for Best Cartoon in 2006 in Tunisia. Robot Boy also had a couple of computer games like Tag Team Trouble, Kamikaze Kidnap, even a contest in the UK where kids would use the numbers that they had to help Gus rescue Tommy and Lola. The grand prize was a Robot Boy figure. The story is about a young boy named Tommy Turbo who's been entrusted to look after a small but powerful robot and teach him how to act and behave like a real boy while also keeping him out of the hands of the show's antagonist. Jan Van has been in the animation industry for more than a decade. He began his career as an animator, then along the way he became a supervisor. Eventually he became a director at Alpha in Paris. This is the company where he pitched the idea for Robot Boy. Hideous monsters, fire-breathing gerbils, poorly prepared soup. Who will save us? Robot Boy. Hooray! Start him up, Tommy. <laughs> there we go. See, I told you to change his oil. Robot Boy, new episode Monday at 4.30 in the lounge. Robot Boy was a collaboration between Cartoon Network Europe and Alphanim. The show was made using Toon Boom animation software. Episodes of Robot Boy were being done in different animation studios around the world, like Digital Animation in South Korea, Lux Animation in Luxembourg. The show's characters were even kind of different. Like originally, Tommy and Professional Motion Mode were going to be related, with Tommy being Professional Motion Mode's nephew. Tommy, along with Gus's original names, were going to be Eric and Chuckles. Lola was still Lola, though. Apparently, they had earlier designs, but they were never uploaded online. But there's an image of Robot Boy early design. It's not really all that different, except that his eyes were kind of red instead of blue, and his arms are completely silver. He still had blue on his hands and legs. The fan base for this show was kind of divided. There are people that really enjoyed the show, which resulted in lots of fan art. Fans of the show even made their very own fan fiction. But there are some people who absolutely hated this show. Like there was one post I read where someone said, if you love yourself, you will avoid watching this show. But all honestly, this show was okay. I mean, the plot was like kind of strange. I mean, you give a robot to a child, so the robot won't fall into evil hands. But the bad guys know that Tommy has Robot Boy. So if you think about it, Motion Mode just put a 10 year old boy and the people around him into danger. What a prick. There was an episode where Robot Boy got a human disguise. They should have just had him wear that through the series. Maybe they could have made it where Robot Boy was a foreign exchange student that has the same class with Tommy or something like that. They probably didn't want to have the same set as other shows by the robot that attends school. <coughs> when researching this video, I found out the Robot Boy dubs have a slight difference. In the French dub of the show, Robot Boy is shown to be able to speak in super activated mode versus not speaking in the English dub. No, how? Think about never seeing your friends again and feel that power. In 2007, Robot Boy's time slot moved from 9 o'clock in the morning to 10.30. The 9 o'clock slot was replaced with Pokemon Battle Frontier. Eventually, Lust Animation and Coffee Nova canceled their collaboration. I tried to find more information on why, but my searches kind of came up short. But normally, if you ask a company or a corporation, they always say creative differences. Around 2008, Cartoon Network stopped ordering new episodes of Robot Boy. Cartoon Network aired reruns around 11 until they just took the show off the air completely and replaced it with Thumb Wrestling. Man, what a way to go out. But the show did air for a couple more years in the UK. Right now, there are no plans on bringing Robot Boy back. The episodes can be found online, even on YouTube. The creator series, John Van, this last name, 
Most recent project was an animation series called Heidi. Right now, he's been behind the scenes as a creative consultant for PO Productions, and he's helping making a new Smurf series. Robot Boy is never coming back, but you can always look back at the series and be like, oh yeah, that was a thing. Okay, so that's it for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. You know, the whole YouTube meme thing. Um, next video is going to be Nickelodeon related, more than likely. I don't know when I'm going to be able to put it out, but just hit the little notification bell thingy so you don't miss when I'm upload. But until next time, see you.